Fort Dodge, who then gave it to Culver's campaign. The DCI and a special prosecutor have been appointed to investigate that. You've got the paper today, and, and the auditor could probably give you more details on what's going on in the Liquor Commission. And you've got to deal with the uh, with the uh, Department of Aging, where they gagged the long-term care ombudsman, provided a hostile work environment. And guess what? This is Iowa, not Illinois. It's starting to sound too much like Illinois. You know, I served with the only two uh, governors in Illinois that didn't go to prison in the last uh, 40 years. I talk about uh, a couple guys standing in the chow line in prison in Illinois, one says the other. You know, the food was a lot better when you were governor. <laughs> When I get done with this trial with Blagojevich, I'll probably have one more prisoner in Illinois. But uh, at any rate, uh, you know, we got to have some fun in this. And, and I, despite all the nastiness and negatives, uh, you know, I love this state. I had a great job at Des Moines University. I loved what I was doing, but I couldn't stand to continue to see the disaster of what's going on. And that's why I had thousands of people come to me and say, you got to come back and straighten it out, and I'm excited about it. I'm proud to be leading this Republican effort. I think 2010, if we continue to work hard, can't take anything for granted. We've got to work every day between now and the 2nd of, of November, and we can get the job done. And, and I want to say, some of you may not realize this, but this is an important anniversary. July 2nd, 1982, was when Roxanne Conlon acknowledged that she didn't pay any taxes. <laughs> and she's still at it. She still thinks you ought to pay taxes, but she shouldn't have to. And she has the audacity to be running against Chuck Grassley for the United States Senate. And remember, she was the lawyer that sued Microsoft. She got $40 million and the clients got $15. And she also, as I understand, there's a lawsuit from the other lawyers challenging her for stiffing the other lawyers that were involved in the case. Is this who you want representing you in the United States Senate? No, no. no way. Well, she fits right in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she fits in, but we don't want her. Not representing Iowa. Maybe Illinois, not Iowa. Well, let me just say, uh, uh, I'm having fun, and I, I enjoyed walking in the parade. I got four more parades tomorrow. So we're going to go on to Independence. I'm going to do Independence. Old Wine, Pella, and West Des Moines tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm going to Church in Boone. And then, I, then I'm going up to Storm Lake and Iowa Falls. And then Monday, we're going to do Clear Lake. And Kim Reynolds is doing six parades. And, uh, you know, she's got a lot of energy, but I'm telling her she's not going to be able to beat me in terms of <laughs> doing this stuff. So anyway, we got a little challenge going on between the two of us. But uh, I just want to say... It's great to be back. I, 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 you got a couple of former mayors here. You've got a number of local elected officials. You got a lot of wonderful people in Clinton County, and so it's always fun to come back. And uh, I just want to say thanks for the warm reception, and thanks for such a great turnout tonight. And look forward to seeing you uh, many more times. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. And thanks for coming back to Clinton County. You're always welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I think the governor needs to get moving. But uh, we also have uh, Ben Lang was introduced a minute ago, and he's our candidate for uh, Congress. And he'd like to take a couple, couple minutes here and speak. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, I'm a husband, I'm a father to two little girls, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, and uh, we started this about five and a half months ago. Wesley's campaign, Justin Austin is here. You want to stand up? <laughs> the governor already introduced David Vaught. David, if you'd like to take a moment. Thank you, Randy, and thank you for hosting this great event. I just have to tell you, it's a pleasure to be back. Thanks to the Hunts. This is a beautiful place. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. All right. I'm excited to be on the ticket with Governor Branstad and, and the, the candidates he's mentioned tonight. I just walked by uh, Governor Branstad, and I think I'm about a centimeter taller than he is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm 
right now. It takes one to know one. <laughs> See, the battle has begun here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all of us here have uh, been here quite a while, and uh, we all drive on our new parkway. And that was an effort between Representative Clyde Bradley and, Rep and Mayor Smith over here, myself, Ada Stepper, and on the inside we had Governor Branstead. And that was a team effort. Tom Bennett was also involved in that. And that's how we got the project done. And ever since we lost that good leadership, we have not accomplished a lot because we don't have the team effort that we need. We need to get back to that today. Um, this has been an exciting journey for me. I'm knocking on 125 doors a night. And uh, my first door that I sneaked up on, a big dog come out and growled at me, and I sort of ran back. But I've gotten used to the dogs because their tails wagging all the time, you know. And I, I know they aren't as mean as they look. But it's been exciting. And, and, uh, and the response, as Andrew said, has been overwhelmingly good. So I think we're real excited. We need to get back to work as a team uh, coming out with whatever.